Hi there, as I promised a little while ago, here is my tutorial for how to do a very basic uh, voluminous updo, as in this little post down here, I'll put the link in there so you can have a look at that. It's really simple, really easy, I wear my hair like this all the time. Uh, Obviously, um, it's a bit big at the moment, but I'll explain all about that in a minute. And basically, it's a nice updo with a few swirls and a bit of volume and nothing too uh, neat and tidy. You don't have to worry about being too particular about it. And it's a great way to keep your hair out your face. I wear it all the time because it's windy in Melbourne almost every day. And it's just really nice to keep um, keep everything up and back and good. So as you can see, I've got the most enormous fluffy hair right now. I Basically, I've just taken out a pink curl set that I popped in on freshly washed hair that was almost dry last night and I slept in it now. And I've just loosely brushed it out. So we're at the big fluffy stage. So at the moment it is massive. Uh, there's no product in it and I don't use any setting lotion when I set it because it's still relatively short. Um, it's a good 1940s length now. So let's get started. What I like to do is I'll just section a few things off. So just like we were going to do victory rolls, I take out the section just over my ear, if you can see it there, from my side part, and I'll just get this up and back. Now there would have been two pin curls in my hair for this section. So I just twist it and we use one of these just to keep it all out of my face while I'm showing you the back and then same for the other side but we include that top section as well so just you can use your finger for this because the parts aren't going to be on show you don't have to worry about using a tail comb and getting your parts super neat and if you do a lot of parts anyway like I do I tend to find they fall into place quite easily so we'll just go to that little point there and run my finger down to just behind the top of my ear like this and so we have that front and side section and we'll just sort of see where this is going to go doing it like this just um, give it a twist and another one of these clip that in place so now yay we have um, big hair and silly lips awesome now um, to get started with this I'll generally start with the back and divide this all this back hair into two sections as this is where I tend to have my most hair through the crown and over the back there so I take my thumbs and as though I was going to put my hair in a half ponytail I just run my thumbs along from the top of my ears and scoop down slightly at the back and they just meet there so I have two sections and I'll just show you that just separate them and noisily scoot it out on my rug so there you can see you've just got um, a thicker midsection here and a much thinner section so we just brush them together and because it's curled, they tend to stick together in a loop. So I've got that section and I'll run my hand down towards the end. And you can see I've got a little pom-pom of curls there. And I'll try and smooth it with this hand. And just make a little, like a little loop over my thumb. Like so, that's my thumb in the middle there. And then as you lift it up, as, um, as they were going to twist it to put it into a French knot or into a bun, I kind of push the ends of the hair through so that they're not on the surface there. Then you just twist that and scroll so it looks like this. I think you can see that. And then we'll just pin that into place, it's that easy. Now I'm pushing sort of up with my hand to try and give a bit of volume. And we'll take the first bobby pin, open it on your fingers on your, or on your thumb and not with your teeth. And I run this so I can run the bottom bit along my head and from the outside, just push in towards the middle of that little circle. And then we'll take a few pins to do this. Now the second one I'm going to do from the top. And again from the underneath, so it pins the hair in that swirl and along my head. Just push that in. And now I'm going to do one from the middle of that loop. Slide that along like that. Now this is almost entirely secure, which is great, because this is the hardest one to get, to get to stay in place. So now I'm just going to do along this section here where the hair is actually from. So I'm pushing that bobby pin upwards. And we, we can feel it starting to get nice and secure. You shouldn't need too many pins for this. A handful should be fine. And you'll be able to generally feel whether your hair feels secure or if it's going to need a bit more help. 
And because my hair is so freshly washed and fluffy today, I, don't, I do need to use a few more than when it's been uh, left for a few days. So I think that's, so far that's pretty good. Um, I usually use Seedle, but I've run out, so I'm using Elnet, and it seems to work almost as well. I'm quite happy with that. Um, now we've got our first big section all up and back, and it seems pretty good. So I'll take the lower section, and I'll just give that a quick brush. And this is just, um, you can do it all in one go if you want. I just find because I do have quite a lot of hair there, it just is easier to keep it all up if I use two sections. It also gives a nice bit of detail too, a nice little swirl to go underneath the main one, which I think is quite nice from the back. So you just give that a quick brush so it all is going to stay together. And I'll turn around for this one. And again, it's the same sort of thing. I might pull this one off to the side, just depending on what I'm wearing as well, if I can get my arms up. And I just, again, run to the end, run my thumb to the end. And that curl sort of, all those little curls, they will stick together. And want to make a nice little loop. So we just do this, and you wrap them around your thumb, pull those ends through, and twisting the hair, just hold it in place, and I'll just pop that below the top scroll there. Then we just have to pin that in. And the same same uh, style of pinning here. So you just, um, I'm going to start from outside and work in towards the centre of that swirl. And don't worry too much about the pins showing. This isn't about, you know, having um, very hidden invisible pins. They probably won't show and no one's going to be looking for them. So I just pop in another one there, and a final one just from underneath and up. And if you can get them to cross over the pins, that's great too, that will help keep everything nice and secure. Quick spray. And we have our back section, so next what we want to do is work on this side one. So you can just see there's a little bit of looseness here. It's really hard for me to see, as I'm sure you can imagine, because I don't have a mirror near me at the moment. I'm just going to take that loose bit and pin that down. There we go. Okay. Now this is basically going to be very like doing a victory roll. So we just brush out this side section. My hair is much thinner here so it's much easier to, to manage. And pull that back. You can see the little waves I've got along that hairline along here. And then you, I wrap it around my thumb uh, this way, so upwards. I mean I've wrapped it around a few times. I can take that just continue that roll into this sort of area, sort of where this this scroll starts and where my pass is. And it's very similar to doing a victory roll, but then I, I just push it forwards a little bit, just to create a little bit more volume, because I don't like anything too secure, uh, too severe, and I want it to be quite quite loose and quite, quite voluminous, quite big. I'm all about the big hair. So I've just stuck a pin from underneath along the head and that just keeps that one in place and as you can see it's really they're really quickly secured they're great so this one is the pin going down and it's, it's crossing over that other one on the way down as well and that's made quite a nice loop that feels pretty secure and good and as you can see it's adding a little bit of volume around here which i quite like so now we're nearly done we've just got two more sections to go um I think what I'll do is I'll, I normally, because I'm growing out a fringe, or it's, it's grown out basically now, I'll take that section out and I'll deal with this little section first. So this is a bit like a larger victory roll in that it's a hair from the top of my head too. And maybe I will pin this out the way so you don't have to listen to a piece of hair talking to you. Just loosely pin that at the top, at the front. Now. We just lightly brush this so it's nice and smooth but still fluffy. You don't want to worry about brushing out all those curls. And I don't mind if this is a bit fly away. I prefer a little bit of fly away, fluffy, loose texture rather than anything too slick, to be honest. So basically, I just did exactly the same thing as this side. I, um, I pulled the hair up, I guess it's about 45 degrees, just because you want a bit of angle. And you're not going to be able to see what I'm doing. I'm like this. I put it looped over my thumb, take those ends, wrap them over the thumb, try and pull that hair towards again, this will be a bit tricky, and just roll that loop. You can be quite, 
they're, they'll stay together. You don't have to be too precious with these. And just bring it in towards, that's basically on the top of my head there. And I like a little bit of volume again. I like to push it forward too so we can get a bit of volume from here. And look for my bobby pins, which are in their little thing on the floor. So that's, I'm holding that in place and this will be good to show you how I pin these because that was something that took me a long time to work out the best way to pin uh, loops and swirls in my hair. I know everyone's hair is a little different. So I start by this section here. I'm underneath the, the scroll, the, the swirl, and I'm just pushing that towards my fingers. Then I, I'll do one, where will I do this one from? I'll do this from back and underneath. And it will cross over that one by pushing it up towards the middle there. Now those two pins will hold it in place, but I think it will be a little bit risky. Because what I do find Melbourne being as windy as it is, is this can start blowing about and you get little bunny ears flapping about, which really isn't what we're after, is it? So I'll take another pin and put it over the top of that. Which is a bit of a shame in that you are pinning over a swirl and it would be nice to keep it um, clean and some people might be lucky with heavier hair um, or maybe if you use a lacquer rather than a hairspray which I, I have done in the past it can help hold it down but in, in windy weather and if you're going to be out or if you're going to be dancing or running around you really don't want hair getting out of control so we've got the basis of what's going to be going on so far nice little bit of volume up there and now we'll just finish this front section now I actually normally find I don't really have a set way of doing this wherever my hair seems to the curls fall and wherever my hair wants to go is what I'll do so in this case I think my hair is quite happy to, to sort of be quite quite lower down and sit sit up here but that gives a little bit of a almost like a fringe there so how do we feel about that let's see what else it might want to do I often like having my hair up and back and up high I feel that it, it suits my face shape so the other option and how I, I often do like to wear this is another curl like this up and over which I think could work quite nicely today I think we'll go with that one so basically you can see what I've been doing you just brush it smooth Put your thumb on the inside at the end, I'm wrapping it inwards towards me. It's all wrapped over my thumb and you just roll it towards you, keeping those ends in as best you can, which is really tricky. And we'll just bring that up and in, and I'll just, just kind of pop that on. It's getting very dark, it's getting very hard to see. I'll pop it over here. I think I'll do it a little bit more to the side no hard and fast rules with where the rolls go for this which is pretty nice so I just I think I'll pop it in there so it's sort of on the corner there if you speak of your head as having corners which I sometimes do these things there we go so I'm just going to pin that from underneath as before and one pin generally will hold that I find which is really nice but again Windy weather, we'll just make sure we're super secure. I'll stick one in from behind and crossing over that first one. And now there we go, we've got quite a nice, uh, very loose, um, swirly updo. Now what I'm going to do is look in the mirror and actually see if this is doing what I want it to be doing. So, because so far I can see certain bits of it, which is great, and I think I'm pretty happy, but it's always good to double check. And I've had a look and I'm pretty happy with it. So. You can see we've got some loopy, swirly details here. Um, obviously the light's not great, it's getting a bit dark, so I can't really show you properly or as, as clearly as I'd like to what's going on. Um, I'll show you the side. So it's all up and tidy to a degree. You know, this isn't about being slick. This is a nice, loose, kind of like the 1970s take on the Victorian and Edwardian hairstyles that you see in those amazing films. Um, here you can see up in the back with a few little loops and a bit of volume again and this is nice and secure so it will stay up and that's basically it. you can finish off with a bit of hairspray i'm running a bit low so i might forego that today um, if you've got any questions please just ask and if you give this a go let me know i'd love to see and hear how you go so do get in touch and that's it thanks for watching Bye bye